Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to permanently disable or prevent double-sided or two-sided printing on Mac. Uh, super annoying. You may want to be printing one-sided. You've been fussing around with all the settings. You can't get it to save. You can't get the defaults to save. I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to override the system defaults and basically create new defaults uh, for the printout. I'll show you how to do that step by step. First thing you're going to do is open up any web browser, so Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, Safari, it doesn't matter. Any of them will work. In my case, I'm going to open up Chrome here. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in localhost. Uh, you don't need HTTP or HTTPS, just localhost colon, the two dots, 631, and you're going to hit enter. Uh, you may reach a screen that does not look like this. Uh, it means your computer is not allowing access. Uh, if you get that pop-up, here is what you're going to do. You're going to go down to Finder. We're going to Terminal. So you can use the, uh, the search bar here, and you can just type in the word Terminal. Uh, or if you want to know where it's located, you click on Applications. Go to the Utilities folder, and then you'll see Terminal. You're going to double-click Terminal. Then you're going to copy and paste this text. Then you're going to copy and paste this text right here, just exactly as it is like that. Cup, S, C, T, L, space, capital W, E, B, capital I, interface equals yes. And take that, stick it here in terminal. You're going to paste that in there. You can do that with command V. You can also right click and hit paste. And then you're going to hit enter. It's going to look like nothing happens, but something did happen. Then you can close this or click on terminal quick terminal and now if you just refresh this page command R on the keyboard or clicking refresh refresh you now should see a page like this in the top you're going to click on printers now depending on the printer or printers that you have the interface may look slightly different so I'm going to click on this bottom one here to the right uh, of maintenance there's a drop down menu you're going to click on set default options now for me, I have three uh, sort of tabs here, general banners, policies. If you have one that says finishing options, that's what you're going to use. In my case, for this printer under general, you can see here two-sided before I recorded this video, mine was set to long edge binding. Just go ahead and uh, set that to off, then go down and click set default options. You're going to get a pop-up. It didn't appear on mine because I already entered it. You're going to get a pop-up and it's going to ask you to enter your username and your password. That's the username and the password for your operating system, for your computer. So every time you uh, reboot your computer or turn it on, if it prompts you for a password, that's this exact same password here. If you're not sure what your username is, if you open up system preferences, I think for everybody it should just be on your dock. It's Anyway, it's this uh, gear icon here. Click on System Preferences, and then you are going to, you can just do a search up here for User. Um, you're looking for this icon here, Users and Groups. And then whatever it says right here, this is the username. Uh, on my computer, it's Apple space 36. Uh, for a lot of people, it might just be your first name space last name. And then again, the password is the password you use to um, log into your computer after your computer has been shut down. Uh, and then hit save. And then every time you go to print, no matter what the application is, uh, it should be printing one-sided. And let me just take a, let's go back to the printers and show you what it looks like for the other one. I said the menu may look a little bit different. So on my other printer, if I click set default options, uh, now it's called two-sided printing uh, for this one here. All right, hope that video helps. And uh, that's how you permanently disable and prevent double-sided or two-sided printing on Mac. By the way, I'm recording this video December 2020, and I am running Catalina 10.15. Um, this video, uh, this is likely to be the same procedure for many years going forward. Um, if you're running any technical glitches, sorry, I just only know how to do this. I may not be able to troubleshoot or answer any of your questions, but hopefully most of the people watching, this video does help you. All right, take care.